then J. Cole came out with, well, a couple of records, but Seven Minute Drill was the main one. Yeah, yeah. He said, I came up in the Ville, so I'm good when it's tension. He's still doing shows, but fell off like The Simpsons. The first shit was classic. Your last shit was tragic. tragic. Your second shit put N-words to sleep, but they gassed it. Yeah. Your third shit was massive, and that was your prime. I was trailing right behind, and I just now hit mine. Hey, uh, this is this is hip hop chess at the highest level. Mm. Y'all have always said when Drake defeated uh, Meek Mill, we gave him more credit than he really deserved. Meek is one of the like I think we have now accepted he's one of the dumbest rappers. Period. Like I'm pretty sure, like you, look, there's an infamous picture where he's playing checkers on the chessboard. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> well, it's like, the same. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, no. But a chessboard and a checkerboard is the same. Board. Okay. But no, no, but no, no, but he's playing with chess pieces, okay? And and he's 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 doing he made he makes a irrational move where he says, hey, um, <laughs> you gotta play you gotta play chess like a king, and he moves the king in front of all the pawns. It's crazy, <laughs> like just on a chess level, you know. Okay, he has it. no idea how to play the game. You get got what I'm saying? Got it. The the point the point of what I'm trying to say this is not a guy who's someone who's intellectually savvy, and as much as people think about rap beefs at the highest level. A lot of it is not only lyrical, like, you know, how you respond, it's timing, how you respond, the moment you pick. The moment Kendrick picked was amazing. Right. It's on an album that's already aimed at kind of letting the culture know, this guy that you guys think we all love, we don't fuck with this dude. Metro and Future put this album, we don't like this guy. He comes in on a very strategic part to say. Wait, so so are you saying that that album title "We Don't Trust You" it's all about Drake. is about Drake? Of course, saying that we they don't, don't like trust him. Drake. Yes. But, but Future had a whole project. Metro don't like him. But Future had a whole album with Drake that ended no, up no, no. being a bigger album than the one he has with Metro. That's a little bit of the confusing part. But there's been rumors that Future, Future and Drake aren't on the same terms. So Future apparently felt a certain way that Drake did this album with Savage. He felt that way. Allegedly, because if you go back to when "What a Time Was," uh, "What a Time to Be Alive" was made, it was made at a unique point where Drake just came off of the, the Drake, uh, the, the Meek issues, and those issues, a lot of people were like, "Yo, this is a soft dude beefing with the street guy." He needed that cosign from the streets, right? That cosign was Atlanta. That cosign was Future. He stood next to Future as Future just came off a historic three-run um, album, a, a, a mixtape. Then he dropped his album. Right? And then they did What a Time to Be Alive, right? So now Drake is almost like untouchable, right? So Drake comes back around, and by the way, this is the only hypoc the hypoc well, hypocrite, <laughs> I can't even speak. This is the only like hypocritical part of the whole thing is that Future have done um, joint albums with other people too. Like he's done one with Thug, he's did one with, you know, the late Juice World, yeah. he's done one with other people. However, I think the the, the reason why he felt a way that if you're going to come back to do one with an Atlanta rapper, a street rapper, years later, why do you go with Savage? Why don't you go with him? Now, I don't know if Savage and him also has a little weird things. You know it's Atlanta. You, niggas be beefing, you don't know. Um, hmm. I don't know about that. But from what was, what was said is that he always felt a way about that. Right now, of course, there's internet like gossip saying that there's women in between them. That's a little bit more far fetched, just given the fact that like these guys, if you know anything about like some of the underlings of like some of the industry parties, and I don't even go out and I know some of this stuff. These guys basically go to Miami, set up shop, have 59 private parties where they invite 400 girls, and it's like 50 of them and their guys, and they fuck all the girls. You get what I mean? It's almost like the OVO FBG free cough, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so to, for, for me to hear or believe that there's one girl that has caused worldwide, like, I, I'm not saying that hasn't happened in history between powerful men, but I'm like, hey, let's just put this in perspective. Their biggest record, we're talking about two guys who have probably grossed over $50 million just doing records with each other, right? We're talking about guys with diamond records, Life is good as a diamond record. Wait for you, it's about to be a diamond record. They've done albums together that's gone multi-platinum. We're talking about these guys just collaboration-wise is worth so much. I can't believe that pillow talking. Hey, he says you have a small penis. I don't know what was that. Hey, oh, hey, he says you can't. Uh, who knows what's that? You're telling me that's going to break up 
an entire dynasty, so it got to be more. I do think there's probably some, you know, Drake also is petty, right? What we've real about, realized about Drake is that when Drake starts to have a problem with you, one of the first things he does is, on a very passive note, will do things to maybe mess with you or your mental when it comes to women. we just seen him with Ross. Ross unfollowed him, now champion, bumping um, the Kendrick diss in a whip. You know what he says? Okay. You know that girl you was like, you know, kissing all on in front of your private jet? Well, now I'm going to write her a handwritten note to come to my show with tickets. Like, come on, petty shit. But, you know, at that level, as millionaires, you still feel a way because it's disrespect, right? But do I think that's the reason why I'm future in um, Drake or Beef now? Um, it, it has to be much deeper and... I'm almost thinking that we just don't know the full reason, and it's, it's just multi 